this morning is dead calm but extremely misty at the moment extremely misty so there's uh, a limit to what we can do we don't want to be doing much at all in all this mist we're hoping that if the sun gets up it'll lift anyway I thought we would have a, a try then first with the really, really micro J3 club. Now you're talking about micro J3 clubs. This is the, well, I mean, they call even the bigger one the ultra micro one, but this is considerably smaller than the ultra micro one. You see, it's, it's, it's very, very small. It's, uh, it's an older park zone version. Um, This is the, the smallest club that I have. I don't think you have too you're much likely to get a much smaller one, really. Okay. Well, I suppose it bears a superficial resemblance to the champ a little bit, but it's even smaller than the champ. The original champ, not the champ, S plus the new one. It's a tiny, tiny little thing. Um, I picked it up from a swap meet last year. Now, hopefully, it's only a three channel. Hopefully, we can get away with flying it even in this mist because we're not. We would never take this very far away from us anyway. Obviously, it's really, in many ways, more an indoor flyer, but. Uh, well, I don't know, take throttle cut off would help. Mm. Yeah. It does tend to sort of drift a bit. Doesn't have much power, of course. You wouldn't expect it to. Mid I basically just, we don't need a lot of rates. I just put it on high rates, essentially. Seems like it's trimmed a bit too far up. I'm having to push it down. Uh, I put it on high rates because sometimes taking things off from the table, you know, they dive because they've not got a lot of power and you don't want them to whack the ground, so you want as much up authority as you can when you're taking them up off of the table so you can make sure that, uh, you know, you get them in the air. So it's probably, if you're taking things off from the table, it's probably safer to have them in high rates, but... He is very small, but he's kind of, he's kind of cute, maybe a bit optimistic, I'm a bit surprised I've got the timer set that long on him. Well, sorry, I put him, he really needs trimming down a little bit, he really does need trimming down a bit. Because I'm pushing, in order to stop him stalling, I'm having to push him down all the time. Uh, is that about right? No, he still could do with some down trim. I'll come down a bit. I'm sticking down trim on him here, trying to, because like, I was having to push the the uh, stick down a lot to fly him. I'm trying to... Time remaining, four minutes. I'm trying to get him to fly without going up all the time, you know. I thought I flew him before and he was trimmed out, but who knows, things seem to just randomly sometimes change between one time and another. Maybe I was also sensibly flying him with less throttle before. Who knows. Well, despite the mist, I, I mean, I haven't really been having any great trouble with him. Partially because the mist seems to me, I wouldn't trust it with a bigger plane all that much at this point, but the mist seems to be largely hugging the ground. So when he's a little bit up in the air, it doesn't seem to be too hard to see him. Nevertheless, and I wouldn't, you know, I, I also don't know what the battery life is. I wouldn't want to take him really out over the long grass anyway, this guy, because I don't know what the battery life on him is. But really, for such a tiny little... 
For such a tiny little plane, he flies pretty well, I think, really. He flies pretty well. I don't think... I honestly don't think I ever got my champ to fly as well as this. But then again, then, well, they're all used, so they're in various states. No, I mean, not when I do buy planes new sometimes. But I buy a lot of, pick a lot of planes up here and there, used. This guy, as I say, was used and old. I don't think they've made him for some time. And, uh... Can't roll him, of course, because there is no, there are no ailerons. He's just a three-channel plane. I'm very fond of the Cub design, generally. I was trying to, I've got quite a number of Cubs. Time the, remaining, two minutes. The bigger micro club, the UMX JC Cub, the two-cell UMX JC Cub, is one of my absolute favorite planes. I'm also very fond of the, uh, what do they call it, the Park Zone Sport Cub S, the sort of red and white one with about a four-foot wingspan. That's a very nice, stable, but also controllable and maneuverable plane. Comes with a great undercarriage that really works properly with grass without needing modification. So many planes you have to tinker with the undercarriage to make them work with grass. But the, the Park Zone Sport Cub um, S comes with like sort of Tundra tire sort of undercarriage inherently. Uh, doesn't need any modification, line, takes off and lands on grass. Fine, without any modification, I'll get that out again someday. Um, and then of course there's the, the, the little... Time remaining, one. Yeah, about time to be thinking about landing now. The little Sport Cub S, of course, is a great trainer and I've been, it's been getting new life recently as a, an FPV platform. For me, I mean, they were, yes, yeah, selling it as FPV. I mean, we should bring him into land now, because he's he can't have much battery life left. He's only flying off the little stick battery. Mind you, of course, he has a tiny motor. Uh, well. Thirty seconds. Yes, dear. Okay, we should be uh, try not to fly him into ourselves. Oops, well, you don't... We know he's not going to run along on the grass. I mean, any something this size, is, there's just no way it's ever going to run along on the grass. So ideally, you just want to try and land as slowly as you can and let it drop. It's not really... It's a different way of landing, really. You're not really even trying to run as long as you know it's not going to. So you just try and slow it down as much as you can a bit above the ground and let it drop into the grass and stop. Well... Obviously, there's a limit to what you can do with him, but he's a rather cute little plane, I think. I certainly don't regret buying him. I bought him, I think, for $30 at a swap meet. And I definitely had my $30 worth of fun out of him.